Hey, this is David with the Shepherd School, and today we're going to do some water purification. And what we're going to do is we're going to use pool shot to make bleach. And I guess the first thing you want to ask is, why don't we just use store-bought bleach? Well, the problem with that is, even though there's lots of recipes for using store-bought, unscented uh, bleach to purify water, over time, the bleach degrades. So after about six months to a year, your bleach isn't strong enough to kill any bacteria anymore. So if we use pool shock, it has basically an indefinite shelf life as long as you store it properly. Now when you use this stuff, you want to make sure that no matter what brand you use, it's, it, the ingredients listed are, is just calcium hypochlorite and inert ingredients. Okay. This one is about 70, what, 8% calcium hypochlorite. You want to make sure that it's at least 70%, 73%, uh, and that there's no other algicides or fungicides listed. Because if you use something with an algicide or fungicide, it's going to uh, uh, poison your water. So just make sure that it's just calcium hypochlorite and inert ingredients. Don't use anything that says sodium hypochlorite uh, because the recipe is a little different, and if you're not careful, uh, you can poison yourself. There is some storage considerations when using this. It's, it's uh, basically dry chlorine, right? And so it will corrode. So you want to make sure that you use it, that you keep it in a, in a, a well-ventilated storage area. You want to make sure that it's dry because if you put water to this, especially a couple drops in a big container like this, it's going to off-gas a lot of chlorine, toxic gas. And then third, if you cer certain petroleum products mixed with that will spontaneously combust. Burn daddy house. It's a bad, bad thing. So don't don't mess with it. Don't be trying to play around with that stuff. Homeland Security gets pretty serious about um, using stuff outside of its you know licensed use. So uh, make sure that you store. Now this five pound container will purify about fifty thousand gallons of water, and so this is a multiple lifetime supply. Uh, and I got the five pound container rather than the one pound bag because the one pound, it's in a bag. So you got to cut it to open it up and then it makes storage harder. So I went ahead and spent a little extra money, got a one pound container because it's, it's in its own um, container. Okay. Now, the recipe for this is about one heaping teaspoon of... Uh, high test hypochlorite to two gallons of water will make a bleach solution okay then if you put it in your water to be purified at about one part solution to a hundred parts water um, it's equal to about putting one pint of chlorine to twelve and a half gallons of water to be disinfected so um, it doesn't take a whole lot okay so let's go ahead and mix some Got my uh, container of water, my high test hypochlorite, and I'm going to use half a teaspoon because it's only one gallon of water. So, one heaping teaspoon. To my water. And we're doing this outside for two reasons. The first reason is I want to make sure I'm in a well-ventilated area. The other reason is some people are afraid of clowns, some people are afraid of the spiders, and some people are scared of the dark. My wife has an unreasonable fear of bleach. Okay? And so we're going to do this outside. And I'm wearing old clothes because my wife thinks otherwise I would get bleach all over the house. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that, okay? Now, these containers are just for, we're gonna shock them, uh, just like in a pool, because I wanna use these for water storage, and uh, even though they haven't had anything in them but, but uh, pickles, they were outside for a little bit to let the uh, pickle smell evaporate out. And so I want to kind of purify the water in there a little bit and let it sit. This stuff works pretty good. If you think about it, it's made for pools. 
have you ever got to a pool where you haven't drank some of the water, you know, an accident? If you think about it, this stuff kills germs. It's almost like if you had your water supply and you jump naked in it, get out, jump naked in it a couple times, get some other people to come jump in your, in your water and then drink it, right? Think of all that nasty stuff, okay? If this will kill that, then, uh, you know, for, for people to, to swim in and bathe in and, and ingest on accident, you know, do pretty good for, uh, you know, killing parasites or whatever that's in the water. So we've let this stuff sit. The recipe is uh, one pint to 12 and a half gallons of water. So we're just going to put it just like this was regular bleach. I'm going to put about uh, a couple drops in here. Basically, this stuff is just tap water that we're storing. So don't really have to worry too much about it because it's already clean. And if I have it a little too strong, like I said, over time, this is the chlorine is going to degrade. And I don't have to worry about using a whole lot because there's not anything in there to worry about having to kill. But uh, if it's cloudy water, questionable water, use more. Okay? I've got on the blog some downloads, PDF of some sources to talk more about this. This is something you definitely, if you think you're going to use, you should try out and get your measurements right. So, you can always catch us online on the blog. Until next time, this is David. Appreciate it. I've got a plan Fits my point of view I'm getting